Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Tomb World Survival. So I have a whole lot of uh, feedback that I want to read off. Uh, so first and foremost, I've installed a No More Auto Roof mod uh, that Pavel and Mathis suggested, which just doesn't auto roof an area once you've finished constructing, um, and that way I'm not constantly fighting the auto roofing. Uh, Imanian mentioned that uh, I really need a uh, another turret here to cover this area. Um, I sort of repurposed one that I had uh, previously, so uh, yeah, this needs to be installed roughly there, I think. And um, yeah, we currently don't have the uranium to do that. Uh, what else? The Northern Beacon. So a lot of you mentioned that I should have probably tried to turn off the Northern Beacon during those trades. Uh, the reason I hadn't is uh, because a lot of the times when you um, have a northern beacon like that, uh, the trades require like a clear. Well, well, we'll see. I'll do it next time. But the the trades often require a clear path to um, uh, a clear path in order to obtain trade. Right? Like you can't send trade through a roof. And uh, the reason why I forgot well I forgot but I'll, I'll try to remember to do that next time uh, I also wanted to change some of the designs here just a little bit to make it easier to heat my um, my future barracks uh, I was also going to reroute power away from the shells um, I'm also going to change the way this is laid out as well. So, I'm going to reroute power, um, around the walls here. But that also means that I need to redo the walls. So, I'm going to add these to limited radiation zones. And... Going to go mine out... The sides here and run power uh, rather than the cable running through the tunnel which can be disrupted destroyed etc we'll run it around Ooh, stormy has a well I don't know no that inspiration is not all that helpful ultimately that's too bad um, all right uh, let's move this door here A lot of little projects going on, as you can see. Oh, this also needs to be a limited radiation zone. This needs to be uninstalled so they can even get to the wall. I also have a pain stopper that I have yet to install. So I'm curious if someone has is in constant pain. Uh, probably, probably someone that has um uh, fewer bionics would be a higher priority for uh, for it. Now we're getting all set. So this wall here is going to have cables in it. Instead of the cables running through the floor, which can set on fire and become a problem for me. I really don't want problems like that. As you can imagine, they're annoying. And then we'll have cables run out like that. Beautiful. This will work great. And then what I'll do is uh, the chem fuel here uh, is going to switch walls.
and this power will run up. So let's move this. Out of the way. This is just repair marble, so that can go down. I guess I'll reorganize it like, uh, like a double-sided bookshelf or something. I don't know. It won't block the turret from doing its job, but it will... Um, this turret needs to be reinstalled a little bit that way. It will uh, offer the cover it needs to offer. All right, looking good. Uh, what are some other tips I received? Kiffy mentioned that I probably almost certainly want to illuminate this area as well to prevent infestations there. Uh, I also illuminated the shell area. Um, I'm moving... Some things around. So this is to bottleneck brawlers. Uh, and to the extra door is to make it easier to heat the, uh, the room here. A uh, lot of little changes. I know mostly they seem cosmetic. But trust me, they're not. And then we're going to move the storage for the chem fuel. Let's repower this on All right, we're gonna want oh we do have dead power. Cool. Barrel durability on that is not a hundred percent as well. To note, uh, this power switch can be removed. Cool. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention, but is equally, if not more important, than all the other feedback. Uh, so I figured out why I wasn't getting mech raids, and I sort of just re-enabled mech raids. Um, so that's gonna be rough, I think. Um, so I'm gonna get some charge lances out here. and make sure that we have the necessary weapons for mech raids. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a tough situation trying to take down mechanoids with really not the means to do it. funny to have like a chem fuel library <laughs> all right so at this point um oh we also have all right let me fix this brawlers we are going to allow you to use marine helmets and get you to upgrade And that way, uh, the brawler's faces can be protected, and I won't have another situation like Eleven, where she's going to lose a nose. Right, this door should probably get closed. Uh, this trap needs to be reinstalled. I would say probably finish that last marine helmet before moving on. Uh, another some things I could do is these sandbags don't help me, nor does this one. Um, doesn't offer me any cover and it makes me stand in the radiation, so I'm going to get rid of that. Don't need those anymore. Backup batteries should not have a light drawing to it. Cool. All right, taking a look at my power grid here. 
We built in some nice redundancies, I think. Oops. Uh, but I also want to add in yeah, right there. I don't... Oh, the dead power here is for the gold. If I ever need it. So with the changes that I just made to this bedroom, uh, it is getting a little bit easier to heat it up. Uh, because yes, these doors are forced open, but because there's a bunch of them, I'm not heating such a such a large area. Wanderer joints. Uh, no. Why? Go away. I'll deal with the colonists banished. Everybody's in a really good mood anyway, so. Oh well. Yeah, usually the storyteller gives you wanderer joins when you are, um, when you have really low population. I'm really surprised, given my high pop, that it would even think about doing that. That's, um, honestly quite strange. Uh, alright, I'm gonna put some marble in this area. Just so that if, I, I don't think I'm gonna have sappers in that spot, but if I do, uh, we'll be... So, Father, what are you doing out there? You're wandering? Don't, don't do that. You guys are morons. Sometimes. You really, really are. So that, yeah, if I ended up having sappers, uh, we have some sort of protection against them. So, my uranium stocks are super low, especially after using the slug turrets against that uh, infestation. Oh, this should be plugged in. There we go. Nice and illuminated. Uh, light level here is 33%. Um, hmm. Might move things around and try to do a little better. Alright, 50%. Yeah. Perfect. Check medical tab. Semp is a little irradiated, but not to the point where I'm worried about him. And then... I guess Eleven's missing um, nose isn't causing her any pain. But I might give Eleven or Acid the... Um, the uh, pain stopper that I bought. So I'll give this to Acid. And have Stormy do the surgery. So we have a lung and a kidney, but not a spare liver. That's another thing I need to be on the lookout for. Here's my charge lances that are coming out. All right, so Acid has the pain stopper. Now he won't be in pain despite being irradiated, which is good. Keeps people happy, healthy, etc. Well, maybe not healthy, but happy at least. Not having a mood debuff of pain. Uh, okay. So at this point, it's a bit of a waiting game. Uh, waiting for... Oh, it's a lot of lavish meals. Waiting for, uh... I suppose, more or less, the... You know what? We shouldn't be using those. Waiting for the resources that I need to stockpile up. That's what I was going to say. So I'm going to put this here. Jane's. I guess I'll have you finish a portion and then move it. Alright, let's go ahead and move that. So that's my uranium, my closest uranium node. Alright, acid's on his feet. As you can see, no pain, so therefore, no mood debuff. He does feel sick, but not in pain, so that helps. Um, so I'm sort of curious if I can pull a heater from here and put it here and have it work well enough. So I'm gonna do that. Food binge Kazumi, uh-oh. 
trying to stockpile the amount of food I have. Having to binge on it certainly doesn't help. Alright, even given these heaters... Oh, well, these two are set to... Alright, let me reset these. Uh, they were set to 52. Which is too low. Semph is a medical emergency, so we're going to put him on no rads. And remove... Okay. That's already removed from living radiation. So when Semph's on no rads, he can mine there for free. And then Jane's is up here mining the uranium. Good. Perfect. And aggro right now is grabbing uranium to put on a shelf. Rearming the turrets. Or at least to have supplies to rearm the turrets when we need to. Another thing I could do down here, if people are idle, which they are, is to smooth this area out just to allow them to move around a little faster. It's really not all that necessary. I'll be totally honest about that, but um, it does make mining in this area and defending in that area a little bit prettier. I don't know. Makes you move a little bit faster. I don't think it will matter at all, but... Uh, having people's construction skills level up is helpful. Alright, Kazumi, it seems like you ate a ton of food. Good job. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, charge lances are coming out. I want to make two of them. And this is so that uh, I can defend against mech attacks. Uh, let's see. Another thing I could end up doing is snow clearing. Make it a little bit faster to traverse out to that uh, to that drill. What are you guys doing? You're clearing one thing of snow at a time. You know that seems crazy, right? Totally bonkers, but all right, whatever. All right, so we have enough uranium to build this turret, and this turret protects this area here. Uh, these three tiles here are going to need to be removed because they um, they block uh, the turret's line of sight. So this turret can cover this area, these walls, and this turret covers this area here. Good. All is well. This one, yeah, okay. We're, we're good. We have proper coverage now. Now we just, ooh, boom rat gave birth. Now we're just waiting to build up the required materials in order to make war with the reactor raiders, essentially. Um... That's going to be a few hundred uranium, a few hundred uh, plasteel, a whole lot of, um... Uh-oh. Don't you bond with anyone. They're all my, they're all my suiciders. Um, you know, like a thousand steel, and then I'll feel good about it. Um, not so sure how awesome I feel about enabling or figuring out why the mechanoids weren't attacking. It was, um, I think I mentioned it, but it was a result of mod conflict between Rainbow's or Rainbio I think it's Bow. Rainbow's uh realistic planets and um faction control. And that caused me not to get the uh uh the mechanoids to spawn like you would expect. I find it really funny that um you can stand on batteries to smooth out the floor, but you can't like you can't path to the wall. Oh, no, you can path to the wall behind it. I guess you can't mine to the wall behind it? I don't know. Whatever. So my power situation is looking pretty good. With the Kenfield powered generators off, I have plenty of power. We're not having power dips. I kind of wish that there was, in history, there was a way to track your power graph. But I'm at uh, about 300k uh, wealth here. And we will see how terrible that makes the endgame raids. I think pretty terrible. I mean, I expect it to be downright rotten. And maybe I won't even win. I mean, that's the thing is I have to sort of 
plan for the worst. And it's possible that I lose this scenario. Oh, that doesn't help me. I need to clear the snow underneath the solar generator. There we go. Now we can pass a little bit easier. All right, Arrow needs to make some advanced components. We're going to make up to 12 advanced components and 20 regular components as replacement uh, once we're done with the lances. And that, I think, is the goal. I mean, it, it, as soon as we hit that, I will feel comfortable... Um, I'll feel comfortable doing the reactor raids. That's sort of the, uh, the pain point for me. All right, Mr. Cefalu, uh, you're a pacifist, but uh, I'm working on making him more productive during the raids, uh, having him reload and repair. But for right now, I need to have him grab some steel. I'm gonna be spending my lifeblood to haul in some slag so I can supplement my, um, my steel supply He's even getting a uh, hypothermia. All right, medical tab. Um, acid. You're next. Adding to the caravan and removing you. Acid. Let's go find something that we can haul. So we are going to. Where are we gonna go? Traversing this way. Oh, animal flu. Boom rats are all sick. Uh, my animals, no medical care. Or they, no medicine but medical care. That's that's appropriate. Another thing I could do is send Janes to this area and, and mine up um, as much as I can. So acid, you will load. I probably should have had him ditch his... Uh, power armor, his uh, marine armor, because he's not going to be able to hold a lot of this. That's it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oops. Whatever. Stop naming the boom rats. Alright, he's not even taking the smartest path home, so I'm going to just cut my losses here and cancel caravan for me for him. Why, why are you... Where are you going? I don't know where he's trying, what he's trying to do. But I'm gonna put him back into the base. Alright, so the next person that does long haul for slag, they are going to get uh, their armor stripped. Checking the medical tab here. Let's see. It will be hired gun. All right, HG, you're gonna ditch some of your stuff. And the if you're really wondering why I'm doing this, it's just to speed up. It will take a long time to mine out the steel I need, and um, these non-miners that tend to be idle, I might as well micro them a little bit. Have them grab some steel so that they're uh, working towards the end game goals. Actually might have, you're not a great constructor, but I might have him deconstruct the ship chunk. That's gonna hurt him a lot. I'm sorry, hired, but uh, yeah. This is something you're gonna, just going to have to do. Uh, let's go replace this whole top area with uh, walls that I'm able to repair. My god. This is not healthy. So he hit his um, allotted uh, 
weight max, and I'm gonna have him haul uh, some of the um, steel home. I'm just good painting a really, really crude path back to home. Nope, you are pathing like a idiot again. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to remove you from caravan and, and have you haul. There we go. Now you're pathing the way I deem appropriate. He went from zero radiation, and he's going to get his rad warning in a second here. But that's a lot of steel he's bringing home, so I don't know. There's the rad warning. And we're going to put him on no rads. And he's already removed from caravan. I think you put on the wrong flak vest. I'm going to force wear the correct one. And then clear force. Stole a bunch of slag. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a lot of steel, right? All right, I need to get these walls constructed up. Because we are a little exposed. I'm gonna have uh, James do it because no one else seems to be doing it. Really, only need these three to be really secure. Poison ship! Hey, look at that. Um, oh, mechs. So I think what I might do is, uh, I might leave that there uh, because the poison radius is not gonna reach me for a very, very, very long time. And then if I have raiders coming in on top of that poison ship, I'll try to set it off uh, although I don't currently have a mortars, uh, but I'll try to set it off with mortars. So I have my shell storage that's here. Um, I'm going to put a mortar right there. Who knows? Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. At least I'm going to try. And a flash storm! So poison ships aren't nearly as bad as uh, psychic ships. Psychic ships demand you address them immediately, whereas poison ships I can probably just ignore for for a while or forever. Right, so is this still the original? Yeah, that's still the original lance. Wow, these boom rats are going crazy. Another way to trigger this would be to... Um, if raiders are coming in, to pod over a boom rat and have the boom rat sit next to the ship. And then the raiders are inevitably probably going to shoot the ship trying to shoot the boom rat. That's another way to do it. And as I said, I have no problem sacrificing these animals. I know. Sad for the animals, but uh, necessary for my survival. That's why I'm breeding them in the first place. So our steel and um, uranium stockpiles are getting decent. I want at least a few hundred uranium for reloading. Hopefully I won't lose any of these turrets. I'll do my damnedest to prevent the loss of the turrets. Uh, another thing I could do... Yeah, I should do. Is, um... Let's build two more turrets. Is to put bait turrets outside of these, uh... Outside of my big slug turrets. Um... So that, oh, cargo pods. This is pretty, oh, this is pretty close, I think. Ish. Ish. I don't really need the rice, so I might not uh, go grab it. I know. Kind of a waste of rice, but it's one of these, like, I don't really want to get it super irradiated trying to get that stuff. All right, so this turret here is going to go here. And that way, anyone coming to this area to um, bash... My important turrets, my, you know, my auto cannons and uranium turrets will first go to this mini turret. Um, and the mini turret might be.
be able to run interference. And I'm going to do the same oh, down here as well. A solar flare. Okay. I'm going to run the risk that the solar flare does not um, kill off my crops. And let's hope I don't regret that. All right, so now we have uh, two sets of turrets. Uh, another thing I could do is... This is to prevent sparking, and not really that it protects turrets. Turrets don't benefit from sandbags. Um, co contrary to popular belief, sandbags provide no benefit. I know, pretty crazy, right? Psychic Sooth coming down, and my gamble was right. The, um... The, uh... Power the uh, solar flare did not knock out my farms. A gamble, but one that benefit me. Um, my cloth is up to about a thousand. So, yep, here is my first lance. I'm going to give this one to hired gun. He's my best shooter. I want my most, or one of my best shooters. Uh, Kazumi and Agro are also really good shooters, but um, they have assault rifles. Our gun's gonna take the uh, the charge lance. There we go. Now we have the bait turrets that tank for us. useful. Uh, to make this last charge lance, we're going to need at least one more advanced component, and then we'll need to make 12 more for the stockpile that I'd like to have. Uh, whatever happened to... Hmm. I feel like I uh, brought in a bunch of components, and then they've disappeared since... Uh, medical emergency. Well, you're going to need to get to cover. No rads for acid. Let's go into the medical tab. Acid, a uh, hired gun. They're the only ones that are really high up on the list that I need to make sure that they're uh, covered. Gotta turn off self-tend as well. So those extra turrets dwindled my uranium supply a little bit and my steel supply, but we'll supplement that when we can. Uh, check in the medical tab, Kazumi, you are probably next on the list to go, wow, you are making meals that aren't even being stored in here. Let's suspend that. I don't think I'm going to have any more lavish meals, uh, sad as that is, would be helpful on the mood. But, um, all right, Kazumi, you are the next person to go do a, a run. All right, so you are just about naked, and we are going to set you to Caravan. She can hold 32 kilograms of stuff.
And I could go down there and grab that stuff. I could even grab the rice down there. Uh, because it won't weigh that much. I said I'd leave it, but I was lying. Irradiated rice, here we come. Alright, she's not a hauler, so... I can't haul anything. But that's a lot of slag and rice. Two deep infestations, Semp just triggered. Alright, well, Acid is standing right here. Hired Gun and Poppy. Tony and Eleven. Um, Stormy. I'm uninstalling this stuff so it doesn't get destroyed. Unfortunate timing for Kazumi. So we are we have a, a hefty ambush ready for the bugs. I'm gonna have my pain stoppered uh, acid right in the middle there, so you don't feel that. Um, aggro, just keep doing what you're doing. I don't think this will require everybody. Just some stinking bugs. Cool. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Alright, let's kill the rest of the bugs. Acid, you report to the hospital. Uh, Kazumi now has her gear back on. So she should be dumping the rice and the slag. I'm going to help her out because she's not doing it efficiently. work. Reinstalling. Reinstalling. Like nothing ever happened. Acid's getting um, prime medical care with good meds so he just recovers quick. Another thing I wanted to do over here is uh, I'm going to make wake up until 15 and then a medicine forever. We have a lot of herbal meds and uh, and I'd really like to have a huge stockpile of medicine. For, you know, when we need it. Alright, this door certainly could be closed. And then Semp, You just happen to be standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. You're gonna be... Tidying up. Uh, Alright, so this means... If that drill is exhausted, it means that is the last of the uranium, I think. Yeah, there is no more uranium in this node, which means that the um, little project I did eons ago up here is all set to go. My little uh, home away from home uh, uranium mining uh, oasis is going to get set up now. All right, let's power this back on. Alright, that all looks back to normal. Unbelievably impressive, I like it. Even this is a outside, uh, un somewhat impressive zone, which is pretty cool. Alright, another thing I could do is, uh, so lavish meals here. We are going to allow meat that is not insect and animal products, as well as vegetarian. So we are going to cook lavish meals forever, um allowing the so I guess what I'll do is uh the lavish meals will be no insect meat and then the fine meals will be forced insect meat and vegetarian but no animal products 
So then, then we could have mood helping lavish meals on demand. Uh, we're just going to need to set up a... Temp lavish meals will be critical. So we're storing them where they need to be. And then in the assignments here, temp and simple meals, just make sure that this is indeed... Okay, non-lavish, good. So we have like emergency... Uh, emergency mood meals that don't have the uh, negative debuff of uh, insect meat. That's what I was aiming for. And we can treat the chicken eggs as such. Which will be useful and important, I suppose. Oh, poison ship. You know, you're not really affecting anything, right? There's not really any uh, crops on the map. So our steel's up to 800, our uranium up to almost 200. Uh, this needs to power on. Oops, I didn't run power far enough. And here is the lance, which means uh, 12 advanced components and like 13 regular components, and we are good to go. Which is exciting. It's been a long time. Uh, okay, here. All of the cables that were exposed now can be removed. That lowers my chance of fires and that kind of stuff. Fixing some of the limited radiation zones. So we don't have anyone mishap. If I can help it. So we added... No, all the stuff we added we uh, promptly removed. You know, I really don't need this uh, tunnel anymore either. I can just not worry about that. And this, uh, this dead power is not really doing anything anyway. So we move the beacon. So I get rid of that zone. Just less to short out, I suppose. Alright, cool. We are cranking out the additional meds. We are up to 100. And we're just going to keep going with that. No reason to stop. Uh, another thing I need to focus on is beer and, well, really beer. We're out of beer. And then also psychic tea. So given the amount of food that I have, I think come next harvest. Or actually, I'm going to do it right now. Uh, let's do a giant hop grow and a psychoid grow. Um, these plants were damaged by the solar flare, so I'm happy to harvest them early anyway. So we might not be getting full yield, but uh, given the amount of rice I have right now, I, I, I'm fine with that. Same with the cotton cloth. Um, all right, so tailoring, smithing, Taylor, so, Smith, Taylor, okay. Um, what I will do here is, I also want to queue up a lot of spare clothing. Um, so that during the endgame raids, uh, we aren't stuck wearing tattered stuff, like ever. So I'll have uh, aggro queue that up as well. 
I am going to have a lot of boom rat babies. Yeah, this is a really... It's a really strange base because of the restrictions that the uh, the mod enforces, but I really like it. There's something about building subterranean bases that you have to severely limit your outside is really cool. It just feels cool. Making sure that these can turn on, and they can. Good. Just making sure that there's power within the range. Uh, and, oh, perfect. So we've got sappers coming in. And this is a, uh, well, this is a super scary amount of sappers, but a perfect cliffhanger. You know how much I like cliffhangers. Um, well, it's too bad these sappers are nowhere near that poison ship, because I could have done two birds, one stone. But, uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. I wanted to thank Pavel, Mathis, Emedian, uh, Akram, uh, and Kiffy all for their feedback that I used in this episode. And also all the people that were wondering about the mechanoid raids. Uh, it was just a mod conflict. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me for next episode, uh, let me know. Hope you uh, enjoy all these numerous cliffhangers. I seem to have so many of them. Like right at the 45 minute mark or so, I guess some giant raid. It's just the way it works. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later. Adios.